What if there was a 12-team playoff this last year? Like you guys know, this is your CFB What If series. And this one is a bit different. But guys, this is the last CFB What If I'm doing. I'm going to move on to other content like Transfer Portal and Recruits unless I see an overwhelming amount of love to the CFB What Ifs in this video. So if you want me to keep doing them and get to yours, make sure you guys like, save, share, and comment that you love these. And if you don't, that's fine because I want to give you guys the content you guys want. Okay, back to it. What if there was a 12 team playoff this last year. I'm going to show you it and then predict every matchup. Well, this is how it would have looked this last year. Your top four seeds are conference winners and get buys. And then Florida State gets in because they're a conference winner. But in the ending poll, they were already ranked fifth, so they stay there. Then the CF poll stays the same until you get to 12th. In the rules, you have to have six conference winners. So that would mean five power fives and one group of five. So Liberty was the highest group of five team. So they obviously get in. The first round matchups, I played them out here. A lot of them would be pretty boring. Florida State rules Liberty, Ohio State already played Penn State, and Georgia already played Ole Miss. I think the interesting one is Missouri versus Oregon. I do think Missouri was a bit overrated this year. Oregon was a top five team overall in talent, so I do think they win that one. For my next predictions, I think Alabama rolls through Florida State with no Jordan Travis. I think Michigan dominates the line of scrimmage and beats Oregon. I think in Ohio State versus Washington, see a very similar game that we did in the national championship game between Michigan and Washington, and I think Texas beats Georgia. They're both super physical, and Texas can win in a track meet where I don't think Georgia could. And then here are my final two. Michigan-Alabama game plays out the same. I think Quinn Ewers versus Kyle McCord will be the difference in the Ohio State-Texas game. And finally, once again, I do think Michigan does pull it out and they win the whole thing. Let me know what you guys think you would change about this 12-team playoffs. And let me know if you're excited about it for next year.